Hey everyone, here's the weapon guide for the P2000, which is the replacement weapon for the USP. The two weapons are pretty similar in real life, the P2000 just has a few differences. One of the most notable differences in game is that the P2000 has 13 bullets per clip, which is one more bullet than the USP has. We've all personally experienced or at least have witnessed a big opening pistol round where one more bullet could have changed the fate of the game, so we'll have to see how significant of a role this actually plays. The P2000 is the default pistol for the counter-terrorists, and much like with the Glock, if you drop your pistol and the next round starts, you'll get a new P2000 for free when you respawn. It seems likely that this weapon will be favored for hitting long range shots on pistol rounds. It has kind of the same feeling as the USP, where if you shoot nice and slowly, you'll be sending your opponent some accurate and powerful shots. Here's a comparison of the P2000 and the Glock spraying as rapidly as possible without having the recoil controlled in any way, and at this close range, their spray patterns are pretty similar. So let's move into the damage. A shot to the body with armor left my opponent with 79 HP, where a shot to the body wearing no armor left him with 66 HP. A shot aimed at the head while my opponent had armor left him with 32 health, while a headshot against an opponent with no armor was a one-shot kill. Thanks for watching this weapon guide. My name is Connor Cakebuilder General Corps. Be sure to stay tuned to ESEANews.com.